Political observers say the national broadcast series will bring about discussions and debates on the plans laid out by the government for a post-COVID-19 world. They tell CNA that the series has also given voters a glimpse into what the ruling People's Action Party's manifesto may look like at the next general election. Brandon Tenoto with more. Every one of you to work From redoubling efforts to strengthen Singapore's social compact, to investing in the country and its people, to grow new businesses and create good jobs, the series of six national broadcasts have laid out the government's plans for a post-COVID-19 world and how Singapore can emerge stronger from the crisis. Political observers say the national broadcasts have played a role in rallying the nation and reassuring the people amid the pandemic. They've also reinforced the need for partnerships between the government and Singaporeans to shape the nation's future under the Singapore Together movement launched last year, as outlined in the concluding national broadcast by Deputy Prime Minister Heng Swee Keat. Observers also note that the national broadcast come as the current parliament of Singapore nears the end of its term. The timing you know, certainly does set the stage uh, you know, for the general election. Right? Uh, and, and, and in many ways, you know, I, I think we will see uh, in the PAP government's uh, uh, manifesto uh, in the election, um, many aspects of uh, the national broadcast, um, because I think this is really what uh, the PAP government, you know, as a party, you know, that you will bring to the voters. Uh, and I think the, the national broadcast will certainly trigger off, you know, that debate, uh, you know, over whether these are the plans, uh, you know, that, that are fit enough uh, you know, good enough for Singapore, or, or can we do even better? Uh, and I think the general election, you know, lays the stage, you know, for, for, for that sort of very deep engagement, you know, between the different uh, political parties, the candidates uh, and voters, you know. So I think any government, you know, will want to take advantage, uh, you know, of, of the crisis, you know, to show what it is capable of. Um, and, and I think the plans that are laid out, I don't think they are cast in stone. Uh, certainly, Singaporeans will will have their own views about whether you know these ideas are good enough, or, or whether we can do even better. And it's certainly for you know the, the, the various political parties, you know, to show that they they have uh, you know a roadmap as well. And then that is when you know the battle for the hearts and minds of Singaporeans, you know, uh, take on its, its 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 crucial task. In terms of the response to these national broadcasts, I think that one set of viewers and voters will have expected that the national leaders give an account for how they've managed the crisis that has emerged through COVID nineteen. Another set of viewers and voters would recognize that the general election is just around the corner and wonder whether this was uh, government leaders using the national platform to put out what is their party political manifesto uh, for the uh, campaign that is uh, in the offing. And I think that at the end of the day anyway, Singaporeans do expect to hear what leaders have to say about the future and how they feel uh, is the right way uh, that uh, both they should respond and what policies and programs they want to craft to help Singaporeans go through a very uncertain age. And I think that basically the opposition leaders are probably going to uh, comb through every speech and see how they would want to respond to uh, these speeches as the general election draws near. Singapore's next general election must be held before April 14th next year, but there are signs that it will be called soon. Preliminary campaigning guidelines have already been announced by the Elections Department. Mass rallies during campaigning won't be allowed if the election is held during Phase 2 of Singapore's reopening. They will be replaced by e-rallies and television broadcasts instead.